now uh, i am entering engine room so engine room uh, economizer uh, platform i am in so all you have to do is uh, you have to check the economizer visually from outside and you have to check the water level steam pressure in the economizer you can verify with the gauge and you can see the water level in the gauge glass water level gauge glass and you have to check the drain whether there is any leakage in the drain pipes so that uh, you can find from where the leak is coming and uh, you just have a visual round around the economizer then uh, you find the chemical dosing tank and you have to check whether the dosing pump is running or not and uh, also you have to check the level inside the dosing tank if the level is less you have to fill the water by adding chemicals so this is how you have to fill the water usually most of the ship ships having a direct fresh water line which connects to the dosing tank so all you need to do is open the water and you have to be stand by there till the water level is achieved so if you fill it open the filling well and you go for some other work and uh, there are chances for you to forgot the filling well so there are chances for uh, the water to get overflow from the dosing tank now i am climbing up to the top of the economizer uh, platform and uh, i will have a look on the gauge glass over there and uh, you can see visual inspection on top of the economizer and uh, you can see all the valves and i am now coming down from the economizer platform and uh, that's all so i am done with the uh, economizer rounds so next platform i am going down so whenever uh, you go down always uh, whenever you are climbing or uh, going down via steps always ensure one hand is uh, holded holding your uh, stairs stairs handle so that uh, if there is any chances first slip you will get a grip you will get a hold uh, so you don't fall down so next is uh, this is your uh, a, uh, lift room lift machinery room you have to go inside and have a visual check and uh, just have a look on it so i am done with the lift room lift machinery room uh, inspection so i go to the next platform so next platform uh, just uh, it's a fresh water expansion tank so you have to check the level in the fresh water expansion tank if the level is low you have to top it up to the required level so we just have a look on that platform have a round check for any abnormality any leakage anything so just uh, take a look on top of the platform pipelines and everything just check uh, visually whether there is any leakages or something and okay this platform there is no leakages and uh, round done and i am getting down to the next platform and this is your uh, boiler water circulating pump just uh, look for the pressure or okay and just check for any abnormality in the motors just keep a uh, hand on the motor and see whether it's overheated or something if there is overheated then there may be a problem and just check the level for the cylinder oil and uh, ensure uh, before putting ems you have to fill the cylinder oil tank whichever in use and uh, that is very important thing that we need to check and check for the chemicals are secured properly and check there is any abnormality in the platform and uh, here i can find some leakages some small leakage minor leakage i'll rectify it okay so this platform is done so now i'm going to look the incinerator panel if there is any alarm just uh, reset it close the valve close the fuel oil inlet valve and just check the waste oil tank temperatures just check if the temperature is high close the steam valve so that you can avoid uh, 
high temperature alarm coming during your uh, night time so don't disturb your sleep and again uh, just have a visual round over the platform just have an eye on each and everything so okay now i am done with that platform i am going down to the next platform okay so this is your uh, engine room control room platform again in this platform you can find a lot of uh, lube oil tanks so all you need to check is uh, just check for any leakages whether the drain is holding or not just check the levels and everything and uh, also this is your uh, garbage area just ensure all the garbage bins are closed properly and the main thing is uh, it should be secured from any kind of movement so that if there is any rough weather during night time it don't uh, move here and there or fall fall over something and uh, this is our engine room control engine control room platform and uh, the same platform we have a workshop over here and uh, before uh, putting unmanned you have to ensure all things all parts all uh, tools are secured properly so that in case of any rough weather rolling or something it don't fall or uh, run over somewhere so ensure all these things are done before you are uh, putting your uh, engine room in ems and uh, okay so i am done with the workshop round so mostly what happens in the workshop is people sometime use the grinder and forgot to stop it so that is the thing most of the ship happens so you just check the grinder everything is okay or not now i am going to the store room again same thing ensure all the stores are secured properly and it is secured against any movements and any trolleys it should be secured the reason is very simple uh, whenever uh, we cannot predict uh, the sea during night time if uh, sudden rolling sudden bad weather comes ship will start roll and if you didn't secure any of your uh, things it may start uh, rolling here and there okay so so this is your uh, again uh, engine control room platform this is your engine room toilet just check toilet water is uh, pipes or closed everything is uh, normal and uh, just uh, have a visual look around the area and always uh, ensure all heavy objects are uh, properly secured in whichever platform you go if you find anything uh, loosened not secured properly ensure it is secured so that uh, you can uh, avoid any kind of accident during uh, sudden change in uh, sea weather okay so i'm done with uh, engine control room platform so i'll be going down next platform that is uh, main engine platform so in this uh, engine room we can use uh, the lift so i use the lift so i go down to third deck this is your third deck so here this is your main engine fuel pump area so fuel pump area main thing that you need to check is whether there is any leakages in the drain tray so if you find any leakages immediately you have to rectify it and just check for the accumulator for any kind of leakages and all high pressure lines for any kind of leakages and the same check you have to do for uh, all the units suppose if your engine is having 11 units check for all 11 units for uh, any kind of leakages or anything so okay
VR and the main engine cylinder head platform. So cylinder head platform all you need to check is you have to check the fuel injectors all the joints and fuel injectors check for any leakages and just uh, check for the lube oil pipes for any leakages again uh, as i said earlier you have to do the check for all the units and also have a look on the local temperature gauge and uh, local temperature means a local exhaust te- temperature gauge and the local uh, jacket water temperature charger so turbo charger all you need to check is you have to check the lube oil flow in the turbo charger and uh, you have to check for the lube oil temperature exhaust gas inlet outlet temperature exhaust gas inlet outlet temperature you can even see in the mop like uh, in the computer which is kept in the engine control room and uh, th- this engine have uh, two turbo chargers so for the both turbo chargers you have to check for the lube oil flow and you have to check for the temperature of lube oil and everything so this is your uh, dampers and next uh, we go to the air bottle side so the air bottle is uh, generally whenever you go for a round you have to drain the air bottle so that whatever moisture inside the air bottle will be drained off so we have two air bottle in this ship so for both the air bottle we have to drain it so when you drain it you can see the water coming out to the again lube oil uh, filter differential pressure should not be high it should be normal normal in the sense it should be within the green zone and uh, next will be just uh, take a round on the parameters that is your exhaust temperature so you can see the exhaust temperature you can see like this and you can see the rpm you can see the pressure fresh water lube oil pressure all those things you can see so all should be within the marked range so if it is in the, within the range then it is okay so all uh, you can see the governor ha- governor have green light that is strength is okay just uh, take a look over the cylinder head area there should not be any abnormal leakages and just check the local temperature and uh, you can see here i could find there is no abnormalities so this is your running generator so running generator all these things you have to check so just have a visual 
round on all the generators so whichever generator is running we have to ensure there is no abnormalities no leakages nothing all parameters are in normal conditions all temperature or normals low oil pressures fuel oil pressures or uh, normal and uh, the generator which is not running you have to check whether the low oil priming pump is running or the engine ready to start lighting light is blowing and uh, also we have to check the low oil sump level and you have to check the cooling water pressure in the tablet and everything and uh, this is a visual round this is your hydro four so hydro four you have to ensure the water level is within the range and you have to check the pressure is Just have a look on all the pumps. Let's check uh, if there is fresh water pump. Let's check for any leakages. All the storage areas are properly secured. And everything is arranged properly. So I am done with this platform and I go down to the bottom platform. So before entering the uh, bottom platform, I will have a look. three blowers so all the three blowers you need to just uh, check visually here for any abnormal noise and uh, you can feel for any abnormal uh, temperatures over the motor so i feel everything is okay so i'm done with that so i'll come to the opposite side this is your emergency maneuvering platform you just check for all the temperature pressure is okay no leakages all pressure gauges are within green zone and uh, this is your emergency telephone and everything all this or your uh, 
scavenge those just uh, have a look visually just uh, feel for any abnormal uh, temperatures yeah there is uh, this is how you are to check whether there is any abnormal temperatures in the scavenge doors we check for all the units this ship have 11 units so we check for all 11 units oh, okay so i go down again the bottom platform this is your bottom platform and uh, this is your uh, air lt cooler platform actually so just check for any leakages over the pump just check for any leakages in the pipes any leak in seals or pumps you can see all big motors just uh, open your ears just check for any abnormal noise this is your heat exchanger just check for any leakages or something and uh, this is your lt cooler and that is our low oil cooler so again check for any abnormal noise abnormal leakages and everything scrubber overboard so overboard uh, you have to check for any leakages from the overboard line uh, this uh, scrubber have almost uh, four overboards you just check for uh, any leakages abnormalities in the overboard line and uh, i found there is no such abnormalities everything is fine very nice okay i'm done with this lt cooler platform so whenever you cross any platform you ensure everything is okay this is your remote uh, quick closing valve uh, tank just check the tank level how you need to check you just press the button in the bottom side so you can see the level start rise and get stabilized somewhere so when it is stabilized and that is the exact level of your tanks so i am done with the lt cooler platform round so i go down to the engine room bottom platform again check for any leakages because bottom platform you can find the sea chest so most of the time if there is any leakages platform for any water ingress this is your ejector pump this is your ballast pump this is your uh, fire pump so all this uh, pumps you have to check for any leakages this is your uh, other uh, cches filter so just this is your bilge well from top you can see whether the bilge well level is okay this is your fuel oil transfer pumps just check for any leakage fuel oil diesel oil transfer pumps and the next uh, this is your lube oil pump check for any abnormal sound and everything okay also ensure all the sounding pipes are enclosed and uh, 
the self closing valve for the sounding cap is working properly bottom platform you have to take a proper visual inspection because uh, most of the sea water lines sea water pipelines are there in the bottom platform so you have to check properly for any leakages or something this is royally water separator just check for any normal leakages found this is your uh, main engine package so just check for the inspection glass whether the loop oil flow is there just check for the temperature and check for the flow units so that uh, you can ensure the oil flow is there all the units usually if there is no loop oil flow you will get a non flow alarm but uh, here they can have a visual uh, look because uh, sometimes the alarm don't work so when you see here you can see it properly and you can make it out uh, so there is no abnormalities and this is your uh, sludge pump bilge pump all should be okay this is our flywheel just check there is no abnormalities any accumulation of water or oil below the flywheel and uh, there is nothing like that and you can see the propeller shaft is uh, turning fastly and uh, this is your intermediate shaft bearing just check for the temperatures This is your stern tube pumps and just check uh, the pressure is within the green zone. So, next, okay, let's have a look on the bottom floor. Again, you can see the flow, blue boil flow for all the intermediate bearings. You can see a uh, inspection glass. Again, uh, bottom platform you have to check for any water ingress, any leakages or something. So I found there is nothing. on it and this is your boiler uh, blow down valve and this is your scrubber pump scrubber sea water pump let's check for uh, proper pressure and everything any leakage nothing this is your boiler feed water pump let's check for leakages abnormal noise any kind of uh, vibrations and everything this is your uh, blue boil filter for your main engine just check for any leakages main thing uh, during your uh, humus round all you need to see is uh, for any leakage any unsecured objects all this thing you have to see so next we go to the purifier room so okay purifier room go inside and inside the purifier room you can see a service tank and settling tank so always uh, whenever you go for a round uh, ensure you are draining the settling tank settling tank and service tank because uh, you can uh, avoid water getting accumulated in bottom of uh, the service tank and the settling tank so if there is one tank you can drain for the one and most of the ship you will be having two service tank and two settling tank Press the spring. So you can 
another pipe. Let's open the valve and press the spring. You can find the water mixed with the oil will come out. Once you find the oil is only coming, then you can stop draining the oil. So this is your fuel oil circulating pump, finally fuel oil circulating pump, service pump, all purifiers will be here. You just check for the purifier parameters, just check for any leakages, any steam leakage, any fuel oil leakage or any kind of abnormalities, any drop in pressure, any abnormal noise in motors, any abnormal noise in purifiers and everything you have to check. Here I can find a small leakages. So this is not a big issue but we have to attend it so we will tighten the gland so that there won't be any leakage so again uh, all the pumps you just check for the pressures is properly there is no leakage no vibration no abnormalities found purifier again you check for the operating uh, temperature back pressure how much flow is there all this thing uh, you have to check when you are taking ums round in the purifier We are going from engine room to steering gear room. So we are proceeding towards uh, steering gear room. Since uh, engine room and uh, steering gear room is isolated, you can see the watertight door. You have to open and close it properly, and you have to very safe whenever you are uh, opening a. Uh, opening or closing a watertight door because sometimes uh, it may have high pressure so that it may bang, it may end up with injury. Just check for all the chemicals are secured and check for any abnormal noise in the steering gear. Just check for the operation, just check for any abnormalities, any sound and everything. again check for uh, the chemicals are stored properly check for the storage tank level is full yeah it is full so check for any leakages abnormal noise and everything
all drums all oil drums lube oil drums chemical drums grease drums are secured properly prevented from any abnormal movement if there is any kind of weather change so steering gear room inspection during ums round is done so i am going back to ecr Ensure you are closing the door properly. Yeah, do not forget to tie your shoelace properly because sometimes uh, when uh, you are uh, moving or walking with the shoelace untied, it may cause a uh, accident. You may fall down. So ensure uh, your shoelace is all tied uh, all the time properly. Okay, I am done with the steering gear room inspection. All okay now. Provisional reefer plant. Just check for uh, any abnormal noise and everything. So I can find uh, no abnormalities. Just check the parameters, the boil pressures, and everything. So usually we have uh, two provision plant. One will be running, the other will be standby. The same for uh, AC unit also. One will be running, the other will be standby. So if we are in uh, colder region, we don't uh, usually run the. Aircon. So we are now we are not running the aircon. So just have a look on it. Have an eye. Check for any leakages. This is a sewage treatment plant. Check for any alarms, any leakages. Check for the blower pressure. Check for uh, any abnormal noise. Check for the dosing tank uh, level. Whether the dosing pump is working or not, just check for all the pressure gauges are showing and within the range. And okay, so now we go to the air handling unit. So this is our air handling unit room. Just you have to see the temperature. This indicates your accommodation inlet temperature. So just again check for any leakages. Usually here you can find uh, the drain getting choked and the water will start overflowing. So that thing you have to check. Here you can see it is absolutely very clean. And uh, okay. You can see for any gas leakages, all are in green zone. So no problem. Everything is fine. Okay. So now we are done with our. Uh, Anything specific, Chief Engineer will write in his uh, logbook so that uh, we follow the Chief Engineer night order. And uh, that's all. Now we are done with our UMS round. So once the round is uh, completed, now I can put back the engine room to unman. So for unmanning the engine room, I will call up the bridge and inform that I am going to unman the engine room.
after reforming the bridge, I am going to unman the... So, there is a list of engineers who are in duty. So, suppose F1 is for first engineer and so I go for first engineer, F1, so I press enter. So, that means once they accepted, any abnormal in our plant will be uh, notified in uh, red color. See, you can see the... Okay, done. So, now the engine room is admined. Okay, uh, I believe uh, this video must have given you some information about uh, uh, how to take a UMS now in an engine room. So, if you have any doubts in this video, please uh, put your doubt in our comment box. We will try to reply to your comment. And uh, I believe this video must have given you some information about what are all the things that uh, we need to check during the UMS round. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.